All right, we're gonna take a quick look at Nearpod. I am using Screencastify to do this screencast. I thought I would show you both things at once. A lot of you are familiar with screencasting tools. Some people like Screencast-O-Matic. I like Screencastify because I always use a Chromebook and Screencastify is made to operate with a Chromebook. It, it um, saves your screencasts automatically to a folder in your drive. It um, syncs well with Google Classroom. And just like other screencasting tools, it's very easy to crop your videos and save them. So as you can see, I've got um, Nearpod pulled up. When you go to Nearpod, you will click on Teacher Sign Up for Free. I've asked Nearpod to give us access to their premium subscription for 30 days so that you can give it a real try and decide whether or not it's something you might want to subscribe to. Just like the other tools that you're learning about in this presentation and in the other presentations, if you think you might want the school to pay for some version of this, you'll need to get with Ms. Garcia early so that we can do sort of a consolidated effort at um, getting you the resources that you need in, a, in the most uh, cost-efficient way possible. So when you go into um, Nearpod, You'll be given the, and of course you can see that I've already got an account created. When you sign in, you will choose sign in with Google and use your Pedal Schools account. It uh, saves all of your lessons in your library. Um, if several of you subscribe, we'll have access to a school library so that you can share resources with other people on your team. And then of course there's some, you can search for uh, resources that they already have created in Nearpod that tons of lessons in every subject area. You have the choice of creating your lesson in Google Slides or creating it directly in the Nearpod um, platform. I like to start in Google Slides because as I said earlier, I'm usually using a Chromebook. So in Google Slides, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my face. You once you have your slide presentation open, Nearpod is going to appear as an add-on. Um, you would just go to add-ons and then I've already got it, so all I have to do is open, but you would go to get add-ons and search for it, search for Nearpod and click add. And then as you can see, once you have it as an add-on, when your slideshow is up, if you open it, if you open Nearpod, on your right here, all of the tools that you can use appear. And so once you've created your free account, I'd encourage you to look through and see what kind of interactive slides are available in the presentation that you're in right now. The first slide that we did that was Nearpod was the one where I asked you to define critical thinking. Um, then we did a poll where you um, chose which opinion of engagement best fit your own. Um, later in the slide, we're gonna do a game. In the slide presentation, we're gonna do a game. Once you have finished your presentation and added all the Nearpod elements that you want to add, you would save it and open it in Nearpod. And then you would assign it either as a live lesson, which is what we're doing in the live session, or as a student paced lesson, which is what I'm going to do for anyone who wants to watch this presentation um, in an asynchronous fashion. So that's Nearpod. There's a lot more to it, but that's a quick overview. Um, I hope that you will consider using it. And um, if you have any questions, I hope that you'll get with me and let me help you with it. I'm not an expert, but I certainly want to help support you as you figure out how to use some of these engaging resources.